Okay, so we're going to start off by filling out guided notes with describing matter. Um, that's our topic for today. First off, let's review what is matter. Um, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. And chemistry is the study of matter and how that matter changes. So for the next couple of weeks, we are going to be um, studying chemistry. What is a pure substance exactly? It's basically just a single kind of matter that's pure. Um, there are no imperfections in it. It's made up of only one type of, comp of um, substance. Table salt, for example, it has a chemical formula of NaCl, and it has the same composition and properties whether it comes from the C, which is right here, or a salt mine, which is right there. There are different kinds of table salt um, as far as where the location is. You can get it sea salt or mined salt. Properties of matter. Um, we've been discussing this for a while now, but matter can be described by its variety of properties. Um, every form of matter has two kinds of properties. They're all going to have physical properties and they're all going to have chemical properties. And we use those two properties types to classify our matter. Physical versus chemical properties. Physical properties are characteristics of a substance that can be seen or measured without changing it into another substance. However, a chemical property, the characteristics of the substance, is, describes its ability to change into something else. So the fact that nothing happens, a failure for it to react, is a chemical property. To observe a chemical property of a substance, you have to try to change it into another substance. So there has to be something new that's going to be created to, for a chemical reaction to observe a chemical property. Some physical properties of matter, um, some basic ones are color, shape, size, the state of matter, remember that's solid, liquid, gas, elasticity, um, does it stretch, malleability, we said malleability is pounding it pounding into sheets, density, boiling point, melting point, conductivity, and luster. Luster is, is it shiny? And another one you can add is ductility. Ductility, that's a C, ductility is whether or not it can be pulled into a wire. Physical changes occur when matter changes its property, but not its chemical nature. Okay, so it's going to stay the same. Physical property changes are in any sh uh, change in size, shape, or state of a substance. So remember, look at this picture right here. Uh, the, these are both pictures of sugar. Sugar can undergo many physical changes. Even though each form is different, it's still sugar. You've got sugar in cubes right here and you've got sugar that's just regular granulated sugar right here but they are still the exact same formula they are the same um, substance even though they look different and of course physical uh, changes can be changes in state Okay, changes of state. So we have a liquid here, and it turns into a solid thanks to freezing. Yay! <clears throat> Chemical properties um, that you need to be familiar with are whether or not the substance reacts with an acid, 
whether it reacts with a base, and we call these alkalis, whether it reacts with oxygen, that's with combustion, whether it decomposes into simpler substances, is the substance corrosive, that means corrosion, or is it flammable, and it, that means having flammability. Chemical changes are changes matter undergoes when it becomes new or a different matter. To identify chemical change, look for signs such as color, the color will change, bubbling, fizzing, light will be produced, smoke, and then the presence of heat. Burning is an example of a chemical change. Light and warmth are released. Smoke, ash, and hot gases are produced. Describe the physical properties of the orange. Brown. The color is that it's orange. And it's soft. Describe the object's physical properties. Let's match the column on the left with the column on the right to determine which is a physical property and which is a chemical property.